What up, homies? It's uh, welcome back to Tony's Figs. It's Tony coming at you with another little review. Uh, this guy's been done to death. Um, I'm I got it relatively quick after I ordered it from AliExpress. This is the CT knockoff Wolverine from um, from CT. It's all, it's a knockoff from Mafex. So uh, and it's uh, got rave reviews from a Robo on Robo Don't Know, from Rocco, from Rocco the Great. And uh, and some other guys that uh, they like it a lot, and it's gotten uh, it's getting a lot of a lot of chit chat going on about this thing, and I I can see why now that I have it. But um, yeah, this is Wolvie. He is the knockoff from CT, and that's uh, yeah, the knockoff Mafex. Here's the here's the box. Pretty cool. Um, I don't have the Mafex one. They're too damn expensive. I ain't going down that rabbit hole. It's crazy. But when I saw these things for under 20 bucks or, or 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 20 and some change they're cheaper than a marvel legends figure and i own a shit ton of marvel legends so anyway let me talk about this guy for a while make this short and sweet let me put the box away anyway here's wolverine um man he comes with uh his articulation we'll start with let me come over here where the camera is he moves around really good and uh, the guys who had Mafex, man, Mafex is an awesome line. It's an awesome articulation, an awesome feel. I mean, if it, if they're better than this guy, and this guy's the knockoff of them, then Mafex must be freaking awesome because this thing is really fun to mess with. Um, joints are pretty stiff. Um, let's run it from head to toe. Uh, and I'll show you what I like and what uh, is a little questionable. Um, with this guy... Here's the, the the kind of smiley open mouth head. It's it's really easy to move and it's really easy to pop off. See, it's really tiny ball joint, ball pin joint. And see in there, it's really, you can't even hear a snap. Barely. Barely. But uh, it stays on, I mean, there's articulated neck. He looks way up, he looks way down. And plus it's kinked. So you can angle it either that way. Take can look way far down more like that, and then you twist it, and he can look up. So I, uh, how did I have it? I think I had it in this just like this for the review. So crazy butterfly joints. I mean, these things are crazy. Oh, as uh, some of my figures take a tumble, that shit's funny. Uh, I took his comparisons off and moved some stuff around. But um, anyways, okay, back to back to our regularly scheduled program, right? He's got the the neck moves, and uh, what I had seen other people with with theirs, he had some more plastic on this side of his neck. I already cut it out with with an exacto knife. It's no big deal. I mess on my fingers all the time. So, see, this comes off kind of easy, but uh, moving him around, he's he, he's he, he's fun. Like I said, butterfly joints, look at that range. That's pretty cool. So then, you know, I mean, all the way around, pretty stiff, pretty cool. Some people take some shock oil or some uh, fix loose joints, some kikis, and get them in there. But, uh, I mean, there's his T-pose. He goes a little better than the T-pose. That's what that, that lets him do. And, plus, and then if you get... The joint back up here. You go way up here, of course. I mean, and there's his elbows, double jointed. I mean, do you call that double jointed? See, from um, CT, they just they're just a straight big time knockoff. That's cool. I mean, I got other knockoffs. I think I got some some NECA turtles knockoffs. I think, or I can't remember what they were, but I can I can show them later. But anyways. There's the double joint. There's the wrist swivel. And he's articulated this way, that way. Diaphragm joint. He leans that far back as I can get him. Pretty damn far. Ab crunch. Well, with the diaphragm joints. That much. 
So it's got the diaphragm joint, waist swivel. He does have drop down hips that much. And then you kick and he goes out straight. About that or more, just up to you. But it does have a lot of give. Let's see. Let's see his splits. Splits are like that. But I'm not gonna, I don't need Wolverine to do crazy, crazy ass John Klopp and damn splits. But that's what he has. Ball pins in there. He can almost kick his own ass like Robo has him do. I'm forcing it, but that's all you get. The jointed knees look kind of funky when you when you bend them all the way. He's got a he does have a somewhat of a oh he has a big time boot swivel in there that people said the Mayfaxes don't. But that's pretty cool. Good ankle rocker ball joint for his ankle. Toe joint. This one's pretty stiff. But there you go. I'd rather have him stiff than weak. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> People saying that his belt was glued, but mine's not. It's right there on his waist. Doesn't hinder anything. And I like how people were saying his shoulders, you can have them, you know, regular like that. Or if you want to give him a little bit wider shoulders, you just pop him out. You pop his his own shoulder back into the butterfly. I like him like that, where he's more broad. <clears throat> then uh, let's show you what he's come what he comes with. That's mostly, I mean, all you need for the articulation. It's self-explanatory, especially if you've already had Mafex. Uh, and I, like I said, I never had a Mafex in my life. I saw this guy's price, and I said, "Holy crap! Let me get a Mafex-like figure and put him with my other figs. See how he stacks up. See if I can just have him as a, you know, something to toy with when I'm on stream or when I'm on lives or when I'm at my computer." You know, you hate one of your desk figures, but damn, you could put him with your Marvel Legends. That's all I have, you know, as regards to X-Men. So, um, let's see his hands, his fists come out really easy. And then he's got the splayed hands, show you how they go on. Just like relaxed hands. They go on pretty stiff. <clears throat> okay, very cool. There's his splayed hands. See, I've got a lot of, not a lot of rub, but a lot of noisy joints, but I don't mind. I'd rather have that tightness than anything. I'd rather have him tight. I probably won't hit him with any shock oil or anything because I want him tight. Let him loosen up naturally as I play with him. You know what I mean? So let me get these hands off and put his claw hands on. I like these freaking claws, right? The fist, the fist hands with the claws. Let me see. Let me put it right in there. Everything's looking good and sweet with the aesthetic. That's cool. Longer curved claws, I don't mind. They're pretty dope. But uh, I'm usually a stickler for the claws being only as long as Homeboy's forearm. As that comes out, it's the first time I did that. But I'm manipulating the hell out of it in front of camera. Goes back in. No worry there. And so say if you have them like that and you have his claws out. See how the claws are super... I mean, they're... They're really long. I mean, they're only supposed to be as long as his forearm, realistically. But I'm not mad at it. They 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 look pretty damn cool. I mean, if I want to cut them, I'll cut them. If not, I'll you know he it's it's not that bad at all. Suspend your disbelief. Ooh, look at that thing come off. And I guess this is just like the um, 
the Mafex joint tap go like that. But that's the first time I'm ever seeing it come off manipulating it as much as I am doing for the review. So that's pretty cool, man. That's that's cool for when I, people got to paint stuff and just shove it back in. No problem. And he lifts it up towards his face. Get him in any kind of crazy pose you need him in. There's those hands and there's a little pose. For Wolby. How do I have him? Sometimes I get him in that Art Adams pose where one's at you, legs are bent, he's looking dead at you. And this one's like just ready on the side just to swipe. Something like that as I look through the camera. So, there you go. You take this head off. Here's the stoic head. Oops. So, goes on here for when he's chilling out. And here, all that rub. Put it back in. It's just as I move him. Now I know how his joints work. Now I know how his articulation is. Now I know what will give and what won't. And how you can put him back in. It's not. It's still not bad at all. CT said, screw you, Mayfax. We're going to mess with your design and come up with our own little knockoff. And that's all she wrote. It's weird. The camera's on this side. of The, this, the camera's like over here. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. Anyway, there, not bad at all, let's take the stoic head off, here's his unmasked head, his yelling head, it's kind of derpy, kind of silly, but I don't plan on having that on him, it's okay, I've got other heads that uh, he can use, but this is one that comes with him, and the down mask is awesome, the down mask is like it's unfolded and it's just draped over his shoulders, with the collar around his neck. We push it down to where it's, you know, believable, I guess. <clears throat> Excuse me. And put that head on. And then I've, I've got to have it like pushed all the way down. There he is. And see how the, the down mask looks. That's pretty sweet how the wings just drape over. That's cool. There's his accessories. Okay. Oops. I don't think I had it pushed down enough. Let's see. I'm going to straighten this ball peg out. There I did. I felt it. I felt it go in. And then it comes with a stand. This plastic stand people showed. I guess it's a little different than the Mafex one, but this one's not too bad. It comes with this big old base with the three holes. You can position whatever you want, depending on the crazy dynamic pose you're going to have them in. For the first off, for the first thing I did was put it in the back and then just hold his waist and then put him in some kind of crazy pose where he's 
swiping like a big left cross. This is ready to go up. Right knee up. He's either jumping some way. And you open up these jaws right here. Stick them in there. Not too bad. I rarely ever use these, but. There you go. Not bad. Okay. So now I'll show you what he looks like with some other figures. Okay, there's what he looks like compared with uh, customized kit bashed McFarlane Superman and uh, my custom uh, Preacher from Delta 17 made with uh, classified figures. Not too bad. Big time shorty. There he is with some X-Men teammates. Kind of a kit bashed... Um, Marvel Legends Colossus. I uh, I had just made those gauntlets for him and his knee pads from other Colossus figures, and the the new ninety seven um, Cyclops with an older Cyclops um, head sculpt. I like that one with him because uh, I mean the ninety seven is a lot a big time cartoonish, but it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be from the cartoon, but it a great body buck. I mean, he wears his pouches like that. The belt is high on the trunks. The harness is awesome. It's perfect. It's a perfect Cyclops. And uh, I just like that head sculpt a whole hell of a lot more better than the, um, the original cartoon one. And here he is with some other uh, Marvel Legends Wolverines. Uh, the Tiger Stripe on the left with the Toy Biz Wolverine head sculpt I put on him. And then the one on the right is uh, another um, mustard and brown Wolverine Marvel Legends with a casting cave head sculpt on him. With uh, he's got his down hood on. And there's the knockoff CT Wolverine from AliExpress. Man, paid a little bit of. A little bit more than 20 bucks for him, but less than a Marvel Legends fig. So I'm digging him, man. Right after I got him, opened up, started playing with him. I uh, immediately went and ordered the uh, the Spider-Man, the knockoff Mafex CT Spider-Man. Can't wait till that come in. That comes in and put him with these guys and just, you know, fool around with them. Uh, I guess I'll do uh, another video when that comes in. There's probably a ton more out there, but yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to get them. I think uh, Jason the X said he was going to get them. I uh, put him in our uh, a toy kind of mood chat. See what the guys think. I mean, is he now you get him for fifteen bucks or a little bit more? But uh, he's a lot of fun to mess with, man, and he's he's pretty durable. I mean, any negatives is quickly overcome by that price tag. So I'm not messing with any Mayfix. They're too damn expensive. So this just right up my alley. Let me know what you think, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like comment and subscribe if you're not already follow me on tony's under at tony's underscore figs on instagram and tony's figs here on youtube also I have uh tony's figs on facebook and you can catch me on a toy kind of mood every every other wednesday or whatever wednesday i'm free to be on with the other guys and uh you know shout out to them shout out to bobby speck moody baldy and kj See you guys later. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care.